Welcome back to The Detour Show. There are t-shirts that celebrate African-American heroes and history, and they're making a bold statement on the street. Joining me now is the creator of Nubian Styles, Bruce Tabs. Hi, Maria, how are you? <laughs> thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I love what you're doing. Tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, well, Nubian Styles itself, the company, was started in 1990 uh, while I was at uh, Morehouse Grad School. Wow. Um, it became what it is today over an evolution of a different things that occurred in my life. So that's who Nubian Styles is. Um, what we do, and I should say, not just heroes, but heroes and sheroes. <laughs> um, and it's, it's definitely about our history and our culture. Now, <laughs> Bruce, we had a very interesting conversation about your background, and I find it so inspiring. And I want my viewers to really understand it's not where you end up, it's sometimes when you get through it, what you got to go through to get there. Yeah. So share with them a little bit, how did you get here today? Well, as much as it impacted, my story may have impacted you, I, I personally believe my story is um, reminiscent and reflective of most kids in America. Um, at eight, nine years old, I was a runaway. I was a bad kid, you know, on the streets of Philadelphia. Um, my in and out of reform schools and wow. different act, different Bruce? unruly activities. <laughs> you know, I was a hood. I was from 20th okay. and Carpenter Street Gang. Oh my! Riding around on bicycles, uh, fighting the black mafia, and you know, doing crazy things. So, my parents at some point decided I was either going to live, not live, or go to jail. And uh, they decided I was going to live. So they sent me to New York. Um, I was actually raised uh, during that time by my aunt and uncle in New Rochelle, New York. Um, when I left Philly, I only aspired to be a garbage man. I got to New York, decided I wanted to go to college, be with my friends and do different wow. things, and went off to Boston College. Um, from Boston College, uh, as I said, I came back to New York, did some work in the retail for corporate America, Macy's, uh, Bloomingdale's. I did some work in the music business as an executive. Uh, went off to Morehouse Grad School, got my MBA. Well, you know, my daughter graduated from Spelman. Oh, wow. <laughs> my first girlfriend was from Spelman. Mm, <laughs> she's too young for that. <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, after that is really when my life began to change, um, and I began to do things that were reflective of my experiences. Um, even as a child, I had mentors. You know, wine on the corner. Um, even some of the cops that arrested me and chased me up and down the street, you know. At some point in your life, you decide what's going to impact That's you and right. what doesn't. That is true. And I decided that collectively, all those things would impact my life. Um, while at Morehouse, I decided that I became more interested in our culture. Um, and that's really what my passion is. I do other things, but this is my passion and this is what I spend the most time with. So that's pretty much uh, who I am and why I do what I do. Uh, I should also say that <clears throat> while I do this, I don't just do this because it's my passion. I do this because it's, it's really important that our kids know where we come from and who we are. Yes. And I think that's why some of us are so messed up mentally, mm -hmm. because we have no idea who we are. We have no idea uh, that, you know, we built the pyramids. We have no idea that the first mathematician was an African-American. You know, some of those things we really need to know and don't get taught in the school system. All you hear about in the school system is Book, Book T. Washington, exactly. Malcolm Martin, Malcolm, right. and all, all of those are important, mm -hmm. but there's more important things in our history. Mm -hmm. This shirt I have on, Got Melanin. <laughs> Most people don't know what Got Melanin is about. Exactly. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it, there's a commercial Got Milk. Yes. Got Melanin mm -hmm. is a scientific uh, formula that makes us Af right. the, the color that we that's are, the skin right. tone that we that's are. Right. So there's skin. a lot of different things that go into what we do. Well, <clears> you know what, I visit your store and I thought it was absolutely fabulous. And you bought some pieces here with today, some beautiful t-shirts. And I want my viewers to see these t-shirts. Well, that so. one that you have your hand on now is probably our number one shirt. That's the shirt oh, wow. that started the culture piece of Nubian Styles. Before the culture items, we used to do hip hop designs that. Uh, that were very derogatory, very much against women, and a lot of cursing and things to that effect. Um, while in, in, at Morehouse, I decided to be more positive um, and try to send a message 
through pictures and words. And while the front of the shirt is about re retired slave and you think it's about retired people, okay. it really is not. It's about our history. And this <laughs> talks about um, where we came that. from. Beautiful. That's a verse by John Henry Clark, who was one of the most famous historians on African history. <clears throat> Love it. Um, this shirt is not as popular, but it talks about who we are. It talks about the evolution of the African. Okay. It talks about, there's a, a, a wonderful quote on here from Chester Higgins. Then on the back, it talks about how we started. You know, the use of the word nigger is not a good thing. And right. this talks about that. It talks Beautiful. about where we started yes, with that word right. and exactly. where we are today. So it talks more about that. Wow. Uh, we don't just do things of impact and things of revolution. You know, my parents call me revolutionary all the time, but I remind them I'm a revolutionary with an education. So. <laughs> <laughs> the American Indian. The homeland Security, a little spin on Homeland Security and who they are, and then on the back of that it says they came before Columbus. Wow. So um, now, that's just a, a, a quick overview of what we do and who we are. So Bruce, <clears throat> you have two stores. Yes, I have two stores. I have one store in Harlem on 125th Street. Uh -huh. uh, that's a very, very small store. It's probably about 600 square feet, but we get traffic in upwards of over 100 people a day. Okay. Then my second store is here in Philly, actually. Oh. Well, out in Philly, in mm -hmm. the Sheltonham Mall. Sheltonham Mall, yeah, yes. Yeah, and that store is about 1,500 square feet. Uh, we have men's and ladies in there. We have mm -hmm. over 150 designs in there. Um, and in the back of that space, we do lectures. And in our lectures, we have lectures like uh, Ashwa Kwesi. Okay. We have uh, uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries, Professor Smalls. And they come and do lectures on all of the things that we talk about in our African history. Great. How can we find you? Do you have a website? Yes, nubianstyles.net, and it's N-U-B-I-A-N-S-T-Y-E-Z. No S, it's with a Z. Wow. Dot net. Well, I'm going to wear my T-shirt right here. <laughs> Billie, Billie Holiday, Holiday, one of our renowned jazz singers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so I much, I really Maria. appreciate, I appreciate it. you having us. Great. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Mia Mendez is up next with The Breakthrough. Stay with us.